Welcome to the official Windows 8.1 channel and today we're going to have lesson 10 using the desktop in Windows 8.1. Windows 8 is a dual operating system if we can say so. It kind of brings two worlds together. The first few lessons we had was on the new start screen or what they actually called at the beginning Metro style and are now calling the start screen apps. And you also have the old time world of the desktop that still exists and works pretty much like a regular desktop that everybody will be used to in Windows uh, 7 or Windows Vista, Windows XP. So how do you get to that desktop? Usually most manufacturers have a tile called desktop on their screen. If you don't see the desktop tile, you can go into your charms bar on the right side of the screen and just search for desktop and it's going to bring you the desktop tile. And of course you can pin to the start screen if you want. The desktop, as you see here, looks like a regular desktop. It has icons, it has the taskbar at the bottom. We'll have uh, pinned apps in the taskbar, has the uh, running apps and the um, Wi Fi, the volume control, the clock, the date on the right side. So it's really like a regular desktop, and actually, if you go around, click around, you'll notice that it really behaves exactly like a desktop. The only little difference in this desktop is the fact that on the lower left, where you have that Windows Start button, it brings you to the Start screen. And it does not open a Start menu like in the previous versions of Windows. And actually, by going on the lower left, clicking that Start button will actually bring you from the start screen to the desktop. Why did Microsoft actually build a desktop and have this uh, kind of these two worlds together here? It's kind of obvious if we had only a start screen world all the old apps wouldn't probably work well. Having the desktop is also a way of Microsoft to actually soften the uh, shock of using Windows 8. Unfortunately, it was not really well done and most people are still quite uh, lost when they get into Windows 8.1. They did um, some job, some good job at helping understand a little more, but it's still far from something that people are used to and uh, most people that I've actually uh, seen with Windows 8 are totally lost at how to use it. And this is why we're making these lessons here. So the desktop tile is available. You have to uh, know that and that it's available either by uh, a tile on your start screen. And I've put the tile on the left side to make sure that I can easily access the start screen because I'm actually probably in the start screen 75% of the time and in the um, sorry in the desktop 75% of the time and on my start screen not much more than 20 or 25% of the time and everything on your desktop acts and reacts exactly in the same way that it did before so if you're used to using the desktop keep in mind that everything you do on the desktop is exactly the same as the old time Windows when you were actually using a desktop uh, application or you know you had these little icons you can see here my row of icons on the left side on my desktop and uh, basically clicking everywhere brings pretty much the same menus that you can see in previous versions of Windows. So when you install new programs, they still ask you, do you want to put a uh, shortcut on the desktop? And this is where you'll find your shortcuts, actually, of all of those files and all of those programs that you use. And um, from there, you uh, have access to all of your folders. You can put, um, you know, 
shortcuts to do documents, uh, to pictures, to uh, music. Uh, it really works the same way. And of course, you've got the uh, little icons pinned to the start, uh, the, that taskbar at the bottom where you have even the uh, Explorer and the uh, File Explorer and all are here. So you can access, for example, the different folders because you still have that good old time File Explorer window that can show up. So it's nice to know that at least you have that part of Windows where you're still um, you know, in that good old way and good old fashioned Windows way of working. So you can click there and go into the desktop. You can find it in the charms bar or you can click on the start button at the bottom left and that's where you'll actually switch from desktop to start screen. Keep in mind if you're on Windows 8 there's no start button at the bottom left. You have to upgrade and get that free Windows 8.1 upgrade if you're not there yet. Uh, maybe you're watching these lessons and you're thinking, well, hey, my Windows 8 isn't the same. Well, keep in mind that this is Windows 8.1 and that's a free upgrade. So upgrade your machines if you haven't done so. If you enjoy our lessons, then please subscribe to our channel. We have new lessons every week, so you'll be informed when the new lessons are there. Hopefully, you're learning with us how to use and understand Windows 8.1. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And of course, uh, hopefully we are here to help you and hopefully you enjoy our videos. And uh, please share them on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, also uh, go back and you know watch the lessons again and again to make sure that you understand everything that we talk about. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again on our computer lessons. This is the end of lesson 11. Thanks for watching.